Hey, thanks again for tuning in. Today, I'm going to talk about keeping your content above the fold. Maybe you've heard that term above the fold when it comes to web design and you're wondering what it means. It's the section of content that appears on your web page without having to scroll. So normally, when you load a web page, if the page is very tall, you may have to scroll up and down the page to see content, specifically down the page to see content. Any of the content that appears in that top section without having to scroll is considered above the fold. Keeping your content above the fold is important because if you have really critical information that you need to convey, people may not see it if you require them to scroll. Some of the rules of thumb that I like to use when it comes to keeping your content above the fold is I like to keep my headline, my three big bullet points, and my call to action all above the fold so that people are visually prompted to click on what to do next or the call to action rather than requiring them to scroll down the page. A lot of people simply just won't see that visual prompt and therefore they will not scroll down the page and click on your call to action. So let me show you a tip that you can use in web starts to solve this dilemma or whatever. And by the way, something you need to keep in mind is depending on the size of someone's screen, uh, the, the content may or may not be above the fold. And that's why I've developed this little technique is because most computer screens will not require you to scroll for the first 700 pixels in height of your web page. So I'm, what I'm showing here is how to determine where to place that content above the fold on your page. And the way that you do it is you add a box to your page and then you drag it up into the corner, click on resize by value, and then click 700 because we don't want any of that critical content to appear below 700 pixels. So we don't want it down here because that would require us to scroll. So if I add a divider line just to show you where I want to keep all my critical content above. Here I've got this line. And right now I'm scrolling, for example, because my, my window is only 700 pixels tall, including the uh, address bar, uh, which is part of the browser. So here you can see that I've added this imaginary line here. And now what I'm going to do is add my critical content, like my headline and my call to action and my bullet points all above this green line on my site so that people don't have to scroll in order to see the important information. So when it comes to designing your website, use this little technique, put your content, your important content above the fold and avoid people missing out because they have to scroll to see something you really want to communicate. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you'd like to see even more videos on search engine optimization, internet marketing, and web design, click the watch more button here.